So you got in a <laughs> you got in a brief beef with Anthony Padilla. Is that how you say his name? Oh, him too. <laughs> and um, him. anyway, we talked about it, and we did a highlight, and it was our most disliked highlight <laughs> of all time. What is people's up his? He'll it'll come around there where people start disliking him too. It's always happens. Well, I feel like Anthony's thing is he's like mega woke. You know, he defended you when I made the Instagram <laughs> start. He's like, how dare you make fun of women's appearance? So he's like, he's, he's mega, not woke. mega woke. Because he said Trisha doesn't have a mental illness. Can I say I've gone, I have gone to three therapists since then that have diagnosed me with traits of multiple personality disorder, which is DID. People are like, it's two different things. It's the fucking same Wait, thing. Wait, no, you don't, multiple personality, isn't that when you have like a different person in you? It's like super rare. If you're like, I'm not Trisha anymore, I'm Samantha. It's not that happens. I can describe it. Like when I, there is a switch in me, which anyone close to me, my family or a boyfriend have all seen it. My last boyfriend, my mm -hmm. current boyfriend. Like it's literally not me where I wake up the next morning. And I'm like, I literally don't remember. Like I literally don't. Like it's like this weird, it is like a switch. People get offended and I, I swear by it. People and, but regardless, I have other mental. Oh, that's for health, sure. Ill, I mean, I, I, but he Anthony was trying to tell me he rolled his eyes. Okay, just trying to get on the mental health bandwagon. I'm like, mm -hmm. aren't you the one who he always says, Anthony P will always be like, oh, I'm like depressed. I'm like, you don't look depressed because that's what he told me. You don't look like you have a mental health illness. Oh, Anthony Padilla, you don't look like you're fucking depressed. You look happy with your girlfriend. Don't fucking talk about mental illness or that you're going to be an advocate for mental health mm. people. Do you know what mm. I mean? I hate people like that that try mm. and tell me I don't have something. No, you definitely have something. Trust me. <laughs> I had no, I have. But the thing, Don't flip flop back and forth. Oh, Trisha's tr pretending to have a mental health illness. Reviews. Other you think she's sane? You think she's sane? I mean, good breath, luck arguing in that. The same breath to be like Trisha's just faking mental health illness. Like, which is it? But, uh, you can't but wasn't say I'm his crazy point? And not crazy. I think his point was, if I can mediate. Because you made a video saying I am, or was it I have multiple personality disorder? Was that the video? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, you don't. Because he's like, well, there's people who suffer from this. You don't necessarily have that diagnosed. So he felt like um, you were monetizing someone else's illness. I'll tell you what exactly happened. I watched his video. I was a fan. I watched his video on it. And I was like, and I made that video because I'm like, oh, this is probably what I have. Because I, I, I've gone to therapists. I've gone to psychi psychiatrists. I've been to mental health hospitals. I've been to like, I've been institutionalized not once, not twice, three times. That's something people don't know. I went to a mental hospital involuntarily three times. Oh, and, tell me about them. Um, the first time. I know the third time was because they thought you were suicidal from the no, Xanax. No, the first. I went twice after last oh, year. Oh, what the hell? Mm -hmm. That was a busy year. It was right after you made the video. Again, not to like put it on you, but it was like right after like that video was made. Like it was it was my birthday, May 8th. So I remember that. The first time was February of 2019. Then it was my birthday. And then I went again in August. But and, what happened? Tell me, detail each experience. I'm interested. Um, yeah, I mean, just. You're shy about it. <laughs> I don't really like talking about it because I don't like being judged for that because you know what? No matter what I say, people are like, she's a liar. I don't believe her. And it's like, I don't. I like, believe you. No, I know. But I just, uh, I don't like even talking about it because it's just like, it's just so traumatizing. Like each time you go, like the, the very first time I went was in front of like David and Jason and stuff. And it was like so traumatizing. So for them to just act like I don't even exist after like that really, like no one once checked up on me. Like after mm. that, like it was literally like so traumatizing. They like, literally mm. like take you back from the hospital, like strap you down, like put out of in your thing. Cause it was, it was fucking awful. So, and this, and the same time as my, my birthday too, I was, mm. you know, I, I, that's why Jason finally blocked me. Cause I drove over to his house, like high on meth. Mm -hmm. They put me in the thing and, um, and I get it. I get it. He has kids and stuff. So it's like, I understand why he broke up with me, whatever, but people are so fucking annoying. And it's like to hear that shit, it's like so annoying. But anyways, your your problem is that you have these really traumatic experiences, and mm -hmm. then when you try to talk about it, people don't believe you. So to say all that, when I would go to the mental hospital, obviously they let me out in seventy two hours because I would be fine the next day. Mm -hmm. You know, they put they I ran out of a hospital naked because I was not me. I don't even know, but they shot the out of van, whatever. Ugh, I would never do the stuff that I did, and so I um so they never figured it out. So back to the Anthony Padilla thing. For on a real note, I saw those videos. And this was a time I was like really struggling, like February. It was over March. It was when I went on your guys' show. It was like the morning of. And I was like, oh, this makes sense. Like this is probably it because I really don't know like when someone, when this other person comes. I'm like, this makes sense. 
I wasn't diagnosed with it because I've gone to people and no one told me that. They always tell me BPT. They told me bipolar or schizophrenia. They've never once said the thing, but I'm like, that makes sense. So I watched that video and I was like, this makes sense. And the first video I did was completely sincere. I literally mm-hmm. was like, this might be something that I have. It wasn't until I then that got triggered when Anthony's like, and his fucking dumbass girlfriend, Mike, you also dumb bitch saying I don't have fucking mental health illness. Literally was watching it and rolled her eyes. They were like, oh my God, this is dumb. But that was such a sincere video. And that's when I fucking go on the troll. And I was like, fine, I'll fucking switch on camera. You want me to? Oh, I'm fucking, where am I? Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if that's what they want to see to prove, because that's what was happening on Anthony Padilla's thing is people just switching alters. And maybe that happens with people. I don't know. I'm not going to be like, yes or no, whatever. That's not for me to decide. But it's like, I switch, but I don't just all of a sudden become like, you know, a different, like, oh, I'm like a new, I'm a new person now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, that's not how it works with me, but there is something. And people have seen it. Anyone close to me has fucking seen it. Well, Jason, Moses, anybody, my mom, my sister, they've seen it or I'm not, the, my, I'm not who I am. It's not, it's, it's scary. I think, I it's, think one thing I can definitely say is that you're impulsive. And so when you, I, I totally understand where you're like, oh, I saw this multiple personality video and you and you're like, oh my god, that sounds like what I have. Yeah. And then you go make a video about it. With, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're you're impulsive like that. But the they, transgender they, what, video, the same thing. Can I just say real quick? Sorry to cut you off, but real quick, the transgender video is the same thing. That weekend, I just got back from tour, and there was a boy who was transgender. I'm sorry, a girl who was transgender, male to female, and he looked like how a male would look. But he's like, I'm female. I just can't afford a denim skirt. Like, he, and he was telling me stuff, and I was kind of like, you know, I related to that, and I, that's why I was making the video. I was like, maybe there's more people who feel this way, but they're not tra- like, you know, they're not doing the transition. Of course, it was a mistake. I realize now, like, the severity of saying that. But the DI, the DID thing, like, that wasn't a mistake. I was just saying how I felt and I, how I related to that video. I wasn't like, oh, I, you know, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the title was. Maybe it says, like, I have, I don't know what the title was. And maybe that was a mistake. I don't fucking know. But, like, to, but to, to have the audacity to be like, this person doesn't have a mental health. And to attack someone for that. Let's say, let's say I didn't have it, but well, I have something I think, wrong with well, me. So I you're going to attack someone with a mental illness. I think his problem, I think his point of, I think the problem that you have is that you you are impulsive and so you go and make videos without thinking about it and then people start to disbelieve you and they think you're like this drama machine yeah. and that you make of these course. videos intentionally and so like I get why he would think that you know what I mean because it's like because it. like every week you know it's like I have um transgender I'm dis I have personality disorder yeah. and so people start to think like what is really going on here? I get it. She's I'm, just, she's, I'm not mad about it, but Anthony Padilla, of all people, Mr. Fucking Woke, if there's something wrong with someone, which there clearly is, let's say I am, let's say I'm a pathological liar and there's some fucking disorder where I'm just like always needing attention. Like I have something wrong with me. You don't fucking attack someone because something's wrong. How about get that person fucking help? How about butt out because there's probably other people helping. People don't know fucking shit when it comes to this stuff. Like people don't know shit. I do get help. And guess what? Sometimes doctors don't know. I've been to three mental hospitals, three different ones. They don't know fucking you shit. They talk let me- about something happy <laughs> is it a sponsor <laughs> is that what we're going to or no no i was just maybe changing pace okay <laughs> yeah